So now we have the username set and the password. And then we can give the session error here and replace it with this. And it's saying login successful. And let's go break line. Welcome and dot username. All right, so now that we have our basic login revamped to actually work with our um, with our last tutorial, you can go on to log out. But one last note that I want to t tell you is that if you have a long script and you're using MySQL, the best thing to do is to actually close your connection. This way, um, MySQL or PHP will automatically close your connection, but if you have a long script, it's always best to close your own connection as soon as you finish using it. So we're going to do MySQL, close, and then we use our DB link here that we had set initially for our connection. So we just do DB underscore link, and that would be it for the login part. Um, for the actual logout, we can pretty much leave everything the same. The last thing we're going to go ahead and do is actually change our index here. And our index, the only thing that will change for our index is actually the error reporting. So, let's say that we want to put the error right below. So again, we're going to do php echo session. error. So we're going to echo our error if there is one. And right after the error, we're going to go ahead and remove the session error. So we do unset. Set session error. And we can actually just put that in the same line. So we're going to echo it and then unset it just in case um, we try to log in again. Um, so that should be it. So if we go ahead and save our, we have our index, our login, and our logouts. And for the logout, everything should be good. So let's go ahead and actually run the script. Um, so this is my actual um, URL that I've used for this. Now it's saying undefined error, line 24, index.php. Okay, and that's only a notice simply because there is no error. Um, so you can put a little if statement there if you wanted to, but I'll go ahead and leave that alone. Um, so let's say we put a, we use Bob and then 123 for the password. Let's type in anything here and see what happens. No, I don't want to remember this. Um, well, it doesn't actually output our error, so something went wrong. So now if we actually look in our code, yeah, let's just forget that for now. Uh, so if we use Bob and then one, two, three, okay, so what we forgot was actually setting the form action, which I completely did not see. So I need to set that to login.php. So now we have our form action to set to to go to our login. And that's pretty much it. So again, let's go ahead and test this out with any random password. And again, oh, hold on. I'm going to refresh this page. So type in any random password. And it says login failed. So now if we go ahead and put Bob, and for the password, put 123. says login failed. Hmm. Now, uh, why the, re the reason why I kept saying login failed was because I did a dummy mistake here, um, where it says username equals, it should have quotes. So uh, go ahead and put quotes, or single quotes, for username and password. Um, and that should solve the problem. So if we go back to login and type in Bob, 
and one, two, three. It now says we are successfully logged in and welcome Bob. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the actual um, login in part for the rest of your site. All you had to do is to make sure that they are logged in. Make sure you have the session check right here if set username or user ID whatever you would like to use. And if it is, then go ahead and execute the rest of your page. Um, as far as anything else, that's pretty much it. Also for MySQL, where escape string works with magic quotes. So it even if it is set, it would work anyways. And you also have to use this after you've connected to your database or to MySQL. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial.